And our next question is that I have to determine the length of AB. Do you know what I'm going to do now? Everybody, in which triangle is AB? A, B, L. It is in that triangle. What do you have? That is 5, 2. This is 3, 5, 8. And this angle is 113 degrees. What do I have? Two sides and an included angle. My one side is 5, 2. My other side is 3, 5, 8. And my included angle is 113. Which rule? It's the cos rule. So what am I looking for? A, B. So I say, all of you are working out this because we did this already. A, B squared is equal to 5, 2. Put it in a bracket. Square. Plus 3, 5, 8. In a bracket and square, what does the cos rule say? Minus 2 times 5, 2 times 3, 5, 8 multiplied by the cos of my included angle, which is 113 degrees. Work out AB squared, and then we can find the square root, and I have 5.2 squared plus 3.58. I can feel how you all working. Minus 2 times 5.2 multiplied by 3.58 multiply the cos of 113 and you get 54,40410. We're not rounding that off because I must go and find the square root of that number. And if I press the square root on my calculator, I get an answer of 7, 38 meters. 7, 38 meters for the length of AB. Ashwin, you little bit off, you got 7, 31. Maybe you shouldn't have rounded off that square root there. 7, 38 is the length of a, B. Look what I do. I put my 7,38 down immediately.